this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another click look video in this one we're going to be clickly looking at another little art book and this one Dennis is going over there because we've got little Ollie with us today Ollie the owl oh little Dennis he'll come back in when the gallery's on I think but this one we're going to be looking at issue number two of the graphite magazine which is a magazine by 3D Total Publishing which covers concept drawing, illustration and urban sketching and that is one of my favourite covers I think I don't think it's my favouritest but it is right up there yeah it's a beautiful cover and really nice colour as well it's like a sort of like a stone colour, a browny grey, nice little colour that. But this is issue number two, and basically let's get into it. So, again, beautiful condition. Considering these magazines are second hand, they've been in really nice condition. <laughs> What's Ollie doing? He, he doesn't know what he's doing, look. Put him like that, I think. Inside the cover we have, oh that's nice look, that little, little lady, that's beautiful. Hopefully that's inside this issue, Thomas Cyan, this one is from 2017 as well. That's beautiful, I like that little thing there as well, little birdies. Got some little marks there which we don't like, that's cool that looks like a human with a lion's head some strange little creatures cover artist the weird and wonderful designs of a pro illustration lock and load, design and rendering techniques equipped with an interview with an artist there portraiture, oh that'd be cool yay this artist is in this magazine. I'm looking forward to that. So that's going to be portraiture in graphite. A day in LA, sketching outside. We've got little Dennis's favourite. <laughs> Look, strangling him. <laughs> ah! The gallery. Isolation. A narrative illustration project with Rob, Rob Turpin. An interview with another artist, creating creatures, cool, and then Olden the Old Father, the Old Father, that'd be fun. So, oh, cool, little fun. That's the cover. Sexy. I would never. Mm, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have thought that he would have drawn that. I thought it was a, a lady. Looks like he's a graffiti artist, which I can sort of see that in that. Cool. Look, yeah. I love that feeling when I begin to draw something without a plan. That sounds fun. He's nice. Yeah, it's like it's like loads going on. So that everything has got shapes within shapes almost. Maybe too busy? I'm not sure. I like it though, because he's he's more, he's using tone to distinguish things. Oh that's a little, little art little thing. That's a bit I wanted more. Is that the same? Ah, here we go. This is him. I was going to say that's not enough. Little weapons. This is the same artist, Jacob Rebel Rebelka. Yeah, again, look, he's doing shapes within. He's very intricate, this one. This artist. Highly detailed. And yet, his detail within... Shapes. 
like a little fish. Just like a little fish. I can't get excited about a gun. <sighs> Equipped and ready to draw. An interview with Tim, no, Tin, Salam Munich. That's cool. It looks real. It looks real, but it's not. It does, that's cool, that is. Oh, I like this, look. Yeah, th this is nice. It feels... It's cool. Little Xbox. If that was a PlayStation, it'd be better. Oh, this is cool, this artist. Yeah, I like that. So we've got little interviews, look. What tools and me media do you generally favour and why? What do you love to draw the most? Any preferred themes or subjects? And he talks about a little process. Oh, beautiful. Oh, look. Cool little character there, look. How beautiful she is. Oh, these are beautiful. Colours. I love that. Absolutely love this. This artist. I'll be looking into them, I think. Tin Salamunic. Ah, that's a sketch of his wife. She's got, she's got a beautiful wife then. Do we see what he looks like? Who is it? Aww. Oh, I'm not going to see what he looks like. Beautiful wife though. Oh, beautiful wife and a beautiful art. Beautiful wife, beautiful art, and I reckon he's got a beautiful life. I like his artwork. I'm going to love this. Face value. These are beautiful as well. Thomas Cian. Oh, cool. We're going to go through the entire process. Starts with the sketch. He uses graphite powder. That's quite interesting. I've never done that before. It covers the whole thing, look. Quite fun, that. He's got bits of. What's that there? Water soluble graphite. Ah, so he's just putting water on it. Looks nice, that does. Look how real it looks. I really like that. You get, you get, he's going to talk through the whole process as well. A day in LA. So we can, this is where I like these. You go on like a little intimate journey with the artist as they sketch outside. And it's cool. One, using big fat marker pens. Yeah, look, a big mark. Using a big fat marker. Drawing tools. Do you see what I see? Always draw what you see. That's what Bert Dodgson said in the first book I ever started learning to draw from. Keys to drawing. It's teaching you how to draw what you see. Nice shapes there. I like that. I could imagine taking that home and colouring it in. And then turning it into a little... Putting a little character in there. You've created a little world. Oh, I love these, look. 
Yeah, she's somehow, she, it's like she's turning the real world into sort of a cartoon. Which is cool. Here we go. Little Dennis's favourite bit. The, the gallery. Starting out with a digital ink. Medusa. If you want to know the names of the artists, I can stick them in the thing. I love it. Graphite, pencil in Adobe Photoshop. I love these galleries. You get so many different. Yeah, you know, look. So many different styles. Blue paper and coloured pencils. I've never ever ever drawn on blue paper before. I love that. Oh, look at the dragon. Pen. Mechanical pencils. Look at that dragon. Dennis, stay there a minute. Look at that look. It's amazing. I love that the sword is pure white. It pops. Almost like it's shining. Oh, sexy. Look at her legs, look. Twisted legs right around. One, two, three, four legs. She's got four legs, she has, Dennis. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Sexy, though. I love that. Look at that, that, that bit there. Crazy. And these are the little artists. It's fun. It's cool. Ah, oh, I love that dragon. Look, there she is. You got their little websites as well, if you want them. Which I think is cool. Isolation. Hmm. That's quite funny for the moment. Everyone's in lockdown. I like that. Very clean. See, there's so much going on there, but it's all spaced nicely. Oh, cool. It's like little logos. I like that. Kind of almost like a Buddha. Like a little Buddha in a spaceship. Look what they've done there, look. Little viewfinder. It's quite cool, that. I like that one. Yes, look, I like this. Artist's tip. Contrast at last. Getting the most out of the brief. So the little brief is the bit there. It's like a little story. Turn it in. Yeah, I, I love that a lot. See, I want to see more of their artwork. This artist is called Rob Turpin. I'd like to see more of their work. Cool. Meeting Molly. An interview with Molly. Got little characters. She works for Adobe in the New York Times. That's weird. Look, you got a head there. But you've also got a head here. Two heads in one. Little cat. I like that. It's a bit bonkers, this is. That is amazing. Look at the colours on that. It 
little things down here, look. That is cool, that is. Hey, it's Patapon. That's Patapon, that is. I'm sure that's Patapon. Hmm. What? Video game. That's different, isn't it? Yeah. I said it. Very sort of spiritual, this. Trippy. Look at the colours on that. I like that. Yeah, a little bit trippy, these, these are. Failure is the best thing in the world for a growing artist. So this is a little little interview. Look at the art. Look. Art or hot dogs? Hmm? Funny question. So I noticed a hot dog over here, look. Must have a thing for hot dogs. Yay! Little dinosaur. We saw this at the end of the last issue. Creating creatures. See, I love that. I love sketches. Very squiggly. I bet they're not moving their hand off the paper. Yeah, as a warm up ex exercise. Cool, I like this one. It's going to be fun to read that, I think. Nice little dinosaur. Odin the old father. This, this issue is quite spiritual. Feels quite spiritual. All the tools look. It's mental. The sketches are very squig scribbly. It's amazing how different people's styles are. Cool, I like that. Look. Yeah, it is still quite scribbly, even in the... I love that. And that. And that, I like it all. That's cool, that is. Yeah, there's... Little bird there. Fun this one. I like that. Look, look at the texture in that. You can still see all the lines. That's the finished one. Yeah, lots of texture going on. And that's basically it. That was your little artists for this one. The graphite team. And basically that is it. This week's quote goes to Jacob. So that was Jacob who did the little... Yeah, I like that. Jacob. Inspiration is one of those things... <laughs> That will find you and you'll be surprised. That's cool. And we have. Oh, we got a beast. From issue three. So that was from the future. They had one from the future there. A beast. The pen never forgives you. And that makes you think a bit more before making a mark. Oh, I like that. The pen never forgives you. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Cool cover. Cool cover and very, in look, very interesting magazine, this one. Very interesting issue. Lots of really nice things in here. Lots of artists I want to look into. So I hope you enjoyed it and 
what we got next? Oh, we've only got one left. The one we got left is issue number one, which I'm going to look at now. But I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you later for another one.